I'm by Paolo Abdul, I'm a drag queen and I'm from the drag house Z House in Doncaster, which is Doncaster's only drag family. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful rainbow necklace. As you can see I've already got one, I'm wearing it now. I think it's important that you should know that anybody can wear necklaces and jewellery. It doesn't matter whether you're a boy or a girl. All that matters is that you feel fabulous while you're wearing it. So I'm just going to flash up a quick photo on screen and that will show you everything that you need today to make this necklace. You'll also need a pair of scissors and an adult to help you cut out. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our pencil and our card and draw out the shape of a rainbow. Now you can do any shape that you want, it doesn't have to be a rainbow, but I've chosen a rainbow because that is a symbol for the LGBTQIA community. So once that's sketched out, this is what mine looks like, we're going to start to paint. Now you can do this with coloured pencils or pens or paint. It's totally up to you and it just depends what you have lying around. Okay, so you should have finished painting it now. This is what mine looks like. I've again gone for just a traditional rainbow shape and colours, but you can do whatever you want. I think it's really, really important that people are creative and do creative things. So whatever you want to do, if that's painting or colouring or doing things on the computer, making sculptures or being an actor, then you should do it and really enjoy it. So now this needs to be left to dry. So I'd say take a 10 minute break, have a snack, watch a bit of TV and then come back when it's dry. <laughs> Call your adult and ask for help putting out your rainbow. Mom! So now you should have your shape painted or coloured in and ready to be turned into a necklace. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a black felt tip pen and I'm just going to pop two dots on the back to show where I want the holes for the ribbon to go through. I've left enough of a gap at the sides so that it won't tear. So I have a hole punch to do this job. If you don't have one of these, then if you ask your adult to carefully poke the scissors through, then that should work fine as well. Okay, so we have two holes now. So now I'm gonna take the ribbon, I've got this pretty blue color, but you can also use string or even refashion an old necklace. So what I'm doing now is I'm just popping the ribbon through the holes and then I'm going to tie a little knot and that will stop the necklace from sliding off. So that's one side. And then time for the other. really starting to look like a necklace now. So now the finishing touches is going to be adding some sparkle. So I've got just a little bit of PVA glue in a pot and a small brush. You can also use glue spreaders. And what I'm going to do is like on this one, I'm just going to pop some PVA glue along the bottom of the stripes of the rainbow. Lovely. Now I've used blue glitter on this one. So I've got pink glitter for this new one that I'm making. 
All I'm going to do is sprinkle the glitter onto the glue. Give it a little shake and then uh, tip off and shake off the excess. And there you have it. There's your very own special rainbow necklace. So, now that they're ready, I want you to put it on and see what you look like in your lovely necklace that you've just made. Now that you're wearing your necklace, I want you to look into the mirror and say, I am strong. Say it with me. I am strong. I am brave. I am beautiful and I am kind. I think that you should say those things to yourself every day because it's true. You are brave and strong, beautiful and kind. I hope you've enjoyed making your very own rainbow necklace. You can make them for your friends, your parents, your aunties, your uncles, anyone. Such a great gift and it makes me so happy to wear mine. See you later.